Hey guys, hey everyone. On this video, I'd like to teach you briefly how to uh, to use stack bits for uh, running your Angular app. Uh, I do have in one of my course how to use stack bits, so I'm not going to explain here what stack bits, and neither I'm going to teach you how to use. It's very easy to use. Uh, essentially, it's a very nice option for you to, if you wanted to to run uh, an Angular app. I have been used that a lot for testing because uh, sometimes it can be very boring that you need, need to use your memory. If you, you if you know how to use Angular, if you are Angular programmer, you know that it takes a lot of memory. I mean, Angular is awesome, but it's very huge. I mean, it's like a, so. Whenever you have a sandbox, uh, you need to create a new Angular app. It's slow, it's boring, and it takes memory of your computer. It makes a mess. I mean, I have a huge amount of Angular codes that I have no idea what it does. I mean, I want to erase it, but <laughs> I don't know. I have already done in the past. In the past, I lost a huge amount of codes that I did uh, using machine learning with Angular, which, which is a project of mine. I have to rebuild that thing again because I just erased it by accident. I mean, it was very huge in the fire that I didn't I think very well. Uh, the other adventure of tech bits that is that that you can you can save your repo uh, directly to GitHub. You can save it uh, inside their own uh, system. It can be a very nice option. I mean, I have been used that for a while. I I use that on my course on my uh, Udemy course in which I teach how to make in test on Angular, but here I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about how to use uh, how to use tech bits for making your testing. I mean, your test for not testing the sense of unit testing, but testing the sense of pro prototyping. Like you have your code. Right now, I'm building an application in Angular, uh, which I have already deployed. But I wanted to add feature. I want to add new function. I, I want especially specifically I want to add a sidebar. With a side net, which is the kind of very awesome. I want to see how what does um, on my app, so someone can like uh, collapse, like shrink the side the sidebar or side net, as it's called in Angular. It's very it's very easy, but uh, uh, one of, one of the nice things that Angular already have. If you go to Angular Material, the way the documentation, they already have. Uh, uh, the codes on on stack bits. So, if you are Angular material with documentation, they have a link to stack bits. That's quite interesting because it's new. In the past, it, it was a little bit boring because you the code was not running. It was a mess for you to use. But at least now they are using stack bits as well. But but suppose that you have uh, someone that built for you a, a awesome feature. I do it a lot whenever I do my, my own app. I just go around look for option. I always find someone on GitHub or someone on YouTube that already did that, so I just have to use it. Uh, but sometimes, as I said, it can be boring because you need all the time. You need to you need to uh, create a sandbox. You use memory, it use time. But let me show how how I was able to find a very simple, very interesting solution. It's very easy. I mean, I wasn't able to find on my on my own repository. I wasn't able to find a very simple code. Most of the codes are heavy, that big, but this one is a very simple code. So here is the code. Uh, is somebody else that the repository is? If you come here, you see that you can if you get git, git, git clone. In general, you go here git clone, or you go here and zip download zip. You put in your computer, and you start to work. You give npm install, all this stuff. But the problem that I don't want this this app. I mean, I just want to use a feature. I just want to see how it works. I mean, I don't want. To, I don't want to like all this mess on my computer right now. I already have memory problems. My computers are, is are out of memory for quite a while. A big problem for me. So essentially, what you can do, you just go here, yeah, on the repository, in the app part. You have to copy all this part here. See, uh, we just stop here on git uh, git git .com. Uh, That's the name of the repository. Then you have to go here. Uh, you go to your. I already have here to save time. So this is uh, this is tech bits. Uh, this part here is tech bits. Then you just have to add. I already here did one time just to test it to work. Uh, 
sorry, you need to keep it well here. You need to say to, to stack bit that's coming from GitHub. So, so this is the the I would say the domain, the main domain. I'm maybe I'm going to leave for you a link. Um, somehow I may I may I may be able to create for you. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to create for you a very simple app. I I love to use to build apps. Maybe I can create for you a very simple app that you can do that automatically. Not necessary, but anyway, it can be awesome as well. Uh, then, then you just uh, uh, you just get the repo, get the repo here, the repo. So this is so again, this is the the this is the standard. Make sure that you, you do it properly. Then you just copy the name uh, of the repository that you took there. Remember the repository, just to make it, make it clear, the repository go onto here, like you, you yeah, we stop here you know, on github.com. Then after you build that app, it's very simple. I mean, from now on, it's very, very, uh, I would say very simple. Uh, you just copy in your, in your browser and the stack bit is going to do the rest. Uh, depending on the size of the of your app, it may take a while. This one was not very slow. I hope that not be slow now. But uh, it was. I mean, I already had that installed on my computer. But I, I want to be fair. I want to show you uh, how you're gonna see it from the beginning. As you see, it it already imported for you. This is already the app for you, already the full app. And the, so you do, you do, you already have everything already here on your app. Uh, if you, I have here an account, see so you have account, you have a share, you can share, I think that's quite awesome, because if you, if you save, uh, I have been used that a lot on my, on my, on my medium uh, articles, uh, if you say, if you click here on, on share, as well, I'm just using the time as a, yes, it's told, uh, I can show that another time, I mean, it's a very awesome, but here, it's, it's already the app, see, that was pretty fast, so my computer, if I do it to my computer, it takes about uh, even five, ten minutes because I have to npm uh, git, uh, git clone, npm install. Then I have some difficulties. Then anyway, it's a mess. But see, it's very awesome. I want to implement that on my computer, on my on my web app. I want this kind of awesome sidebar here. See, then I don't I don't need to. I think it's awesome. I mean, I don't have to describe that. I thanks a lot to StackBit for being so awesome. And uh, thanks a lot for all the coders around the world that makes our life easier. I have been as well. I have some videos on this, on this channel how to make your NPM repository. I do encourage you to make your own independent, independently of your uh, start point. Just keep it up. So that's all, guys. It's very simple. I have I do not have even even what to say. Okay. So have an awesome cold time. See you.